How low is the volume? <laughs> the volume is going to be low because I am filming this very late at night. So it's going to be very, very like low volume. Hopefully editing Luna can fix this on camera. But today we are not. And lighting's probably really bad as well. Um, so we're going to do a quest. <laughs> Basically the goal of today is to finish the Abyss Order stuff. Because your girl, your girl don't need that. Your your girl wants to level up her Shenha, and I need to unlock stuff to get my Shenha. So <laughs> we're gonna do this. Also, 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 I had to fix the issue with my world level. So I did a little looking about. <laughs> I um. I am now in world level 4 instead of world level 5. Because <laughs> once you reach world level 5, you can adjust your world level. So my world level is now world level 4. Um, <laughs> which was the world level I was, was supposed to be in. But of course, I over leveled my AR. So now I have this mess that I had to deal with for the past couple episodes. Anyway, let's fight those guys. Nice rabbit. Oh my god, they can see us already. <laughs> they were alerted to us immediately. Not now. Layla's ice. <laughs> no. They were just digging through these abandoned ruin guards looking for something of value. Hmm. I mean, there are some valuable stuff on ruin guards. Oh, is that so? The traveler here seems to like doing that a lot, too. <clears throat> ruin guards are annoying, but oh my god, it's great when you get some of their supplies. <laughs> feel great even though I do nothing with them <laughs> for some reason I just love fighting rune guards looking for chaos devices chaos circuits you know that kind of stuff they are important items I don't know what they are for and I don't think I've ever used them but they're important items mm. they wouldn't be searching for such ordinary objects how dare you, they're chaos. In fact, I was nearby investigating precisely because abyss mages often come out from that ruin to explore. Okay. They seem to be searching the remains of ruin guards for a certain valuable object to take back to the ruins. Are, are, are they after the eyes? The eyes. However, they look they disappointed, me. so it would seem they haven't found it yet. Well then, why didn't you grab one of them just now and ask what they were up to? 
Yeah, Master Deluxe done that before. I certainly don't mean to be merciful towards these monsters of the abyss. Ah, uh, you're going with the route that I choose to go with. Brute force. <laughs> but I have a feeling that their plan with this object is of major importance to the entire abyss order. Hmm, always great to know that. One cannot discover the truth behind it through interrogation. Or rather, these abyss mages likely fear something else, much more than they do a painful interrogation. Something related to what we saw in the ruins? Yeah, the ruins were fucking terrifying. Uh, Paimon is getting goosebumps thinking about all this. Alright, we shouldn't waste too much time here. Let's continue our search. Do, do, do. It was nice mean you, my dude. It was nice. It was nice mean you, my dude. It was, it, it was very nice mean, mean you, my dude. Very nice mean you. Thank you. Thank you for just being here and... Yeah. Just running into the booba. Just running into the mechanical booba. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. This is it. Also, for anyone wondering why I have Kai on my team and not Al Haytham. I keep watch. You leave, you call me. Because usually I have Al Haytham on my team as well. Al Haytham and Kai are on the same level at the moment. They're both level 60. And I need to try out Kai. Because he's going to be on my second team. I want to, like, try him out. Because I haven't used him in a while, so I just wanted to get the gist of him again. Hmm. Do you think the Abyss Order will go there? Probably. Go. Oh, I see red thing. That isn't good. Oh. I see, I see, I see puzzle. Is it a puzzle I've already done? Kind of puzzle I've already done. My treasure. Bed. Strange. Ye Hello, anyone home? Hello? Oh. I think they're friendly. Let's say hi. Not now. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, you fucking dick. Oh, you're such a dick. You're such a dick. The night is cold. Cold. Mind to come in. I taste blood. I know you taste blood, buddy, but um, we're kind of in a situation here. My guiding stars. This guy Rain outlines my shields. Rain cutter. I'm just fucking dying here because you keep breaking my shit and these motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, they were not friendly. They were not friendly. <laughs> um, I don't have much resources on me. I should have probably check this before I went into battle. There we go. They're happy now. They're happy. I just found these two guys. Hello. Are you friends? No. No, my sword. Yay! 
<laughs> wow! Besides the Abyss Order, Rune Guards sure are active around here. I hate those Rune Guards. Mm, seems wherever we find an Abyss Mage hideout, there's often a bunch of Rune Guards roaming around too. Is that just a coincidence? Or... It's no coincidence. There are no coincidences in the world. Exactly, Dane's Everything is the fruit of seeds planted long ago. Just like your appearance in that tavern, time is just waiting for those seeds to sprout. Uh, I only heard about you by chance. Forget it. Just some needless musings. Okay. The connection between the Abyss Order and the Ruin Guards is by no means incidental. Mm hmm Rather, they are both branches that have grown out and up from the same roots below. Branches? Roots? What do you mean exactly? Both originate from an ancient nation that was destroyed 500 years ago. Conria. Conria. Sounds very nice. Huh? Conria? Hmm, sounds like a nice place, even though it's gone. Really? The Abyss Order and Ruin Guards are left over from after the destruction of that nation? Oh, speaking of Conria, that's really a super ancient name! Yeah, that's why it's so cool, Paimon. Oh! <laughs> Right. As your guide, Paimon should explain a bit here. A long time ago, the nation of Conria was... I know about Conria. Huh? Because I have memories of Conria. You have memories of being there? But that nation was destroyed 500 years ago! Hmm. Is that so? Well, everyone has their secrets. You did not pry into mine. So I shall not pry into yours. Very much appreciated, Dainsliff. But, if you would like to tell me, I will listen. So, the Kanria you saw, what was it like? Okay, we've got four options here. I'm gonna go with the second one. Traveler tells Dane about the sea of fire they saw 500 years ago. So that's the complete story, huh? Paimon thought that you ran into that unknown god first. Uh, apparently not so. <gasps> I see. So your first memory after coming to this world was being awoken by your sister from within that meteorite. Mm-hmm. It seems your sister woke up first. But the question is, how long before you? Yeah, that, 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 that is the proper question here. And then your sister told you that the destruction of Kanria plunged the whole world into chaos, and that you two should leave this world called Tevat? Apparently, I don't know. I am not the character. The destruction of Kanria? She said that? That's why I heard at the time, apparently. That destruction you witnessed, that's... history from 500 years ago. It seems the first time you awoke in this world was indeed during that period. Hmm. Huh. So your sister must have understood this world better than you did, because she woke up first. Yeah. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> and it was shortly after that that you encountered an unknown god who blocked your path, so you couldn't escape. Oh, Paimon knows this part really well. <laughs> you should, Paimon. I understand. When you awoke at that time and hurriedly tried to leave for another world, you didn't know anything about Kanria. Nope. But now... Since you have come to gain some understanding of Tevat, you are able to guess that the war you witnessed all those years ago must be the war that ended Kanria. Am I right? Ah, if that's the case, you must have been flipping through all sorts of books during our adventure these past few months. I mean, I mean, I have an addiction to poking around and, um, stealing books from places where they're available. 
So, yeah. Before going to Mondstadt, you had just looked at some vague materials. Later, we managed to gather a whole bunch of old books from all around Mondstadt and Liyue, but you told Paimon they were useless. So, the whole time you were just trying to learn more about Conria, so you could find your sister? It's the, end, it's the second most promising lead after looking for the Seven. Oh, yeah. You can travel around the Seven Nations to find the Seven. But where can you go to find a nation that was destroyed 500 years ago? Hmm... It's probably like in Azuma, isolated out in the ocean somewhere, most likely. But if it isn't, it's probably underneath uh, another one of the nations. Or, or it's like in the middle of all the nations. Like it's just there. But then it'll be very noticeable. And I already have predictions of where Shneshnaya is based on child and other <laughs> Fatui members <laughs> and child's family as well. So yeah. Hmm. I probably know more about Kanria than both of you. Tainsliff, my dear. Kanria was a nation without a god. Not because it had a god that died or abandoned them, but because it never had a god to begin with. Hmm. It was a powerful nation, built purely by humans. An unprecedented, flourishing, and glorious civilization. It was the pride of humankind. Pride of humankind, huh? Hmm. A nation? Without a god? Honestly, honestly. <laughs> I think the closest nation that we have without a god so far is either Sumeru or Mondstadt. Though both of the gods um, in those two areas have done incredible things. In recent years, they haven't done anything really. Not really. This is before this is before we do the Arkham quest I'm talking about within that time frame before the Arkham quest that they didn't really have any involvement with anybody else so and Leo and Leeway has like a huge religious thing going on so yeah and in the Zuma we don't talk about in the Zuma later events unfolded just as you remember it was all destroyed by gods. You mean that? Five hundred years ago, the gods descended upon the world and brought desolation to Kanya. The pride of humankind was uprooted and crushed, like a weed removed from the garden of the gods. Hmm. I like how he specifically uses gods. Like, not Celestia, just gods. That doesn't feel right to me. Because <laughs> we've met Venti. And Venti is our freedom boy. He's all about freedom and all that. So, it would be very strange for him to just crush something that the humans made with their freedom from gods. And there's Zhongli. Hmm. I don't really know much of Zhongli as an actual god. More that he's poor. <laughs> but I don't know much about him from a god, so I can't make a perfect sort of like thing there. But I. <laughs> I have a feeling, I have a feeling that they're not all to blame. I feel like he should have used Celestia instead of gods. But who am I to say? He's a co He has the information from Conria, I don't. How could that be? The history books don't say anything about that. That's horrible. Yes, well... Continuing to discuss the past now will only dampen our spirits. I 
I need to hear what explanations the gods have for their actions. Yeah. Let's keep moving. I will tell you more of what you want to know as we continue our search. Mm hmm. I think it's time we look for more traces of the Abyss Order. It was on a deserted moonlit night that the hero approached the vile dragon's limpid lair. I'm not even speaking. Also, that is a long way to go. <sighs> this is going to be a journey. Hmm? Oh. Over there! It's more ruin guards than Abyss Mages! The fact that we've got a cutscene for this makes me extremely worried. Dane was just saying how these ancient machines are from Conria. Hmm. So, did Conria have a lot of ruins that needed to be guarded? <laughs> no. Ruin Guard is the name modern people have given these machines. No one called them that 500 years ago. Ooh, what were their original names? These ruin guards were known as field tillers by the people of Kanria. Oh? Field tillers? What a strange name. They were farming equipment? <laughs> it's not like you think. Field tiller was just a code name. The people of Kanria like to give code names to their weapons. Oh, okay. The land is not to be tilled with farming tools, but rather is to be fought for with steel and blood. This is how the field tiller came about. Okay. Fought for with steel and blood? Well, that's an interesting way of understanding tilling. Uh, Paimon doesn't think it's a very positive interpretation. No, it is not. <laughs> After the destruction of Kanria, these masterless field tillers went completely out of control. They wandered aimlessly over the centuries, gradually spreading to every corner of Tevat. Perhaps resonating with the sorrow of other civilizations lost to time, they found their- That sounds... so sad. <laughs> Wandering aimlessly for 500 years and being an inconvenience to me? Mmm, sounds so sad. Once you understand more, those details won't mean much to you. But no matter their past, all that remains of them now is the danger they pose. So destroy them all. Yes, sir. Hello, friends. Rain outlined fate. Witness the power of good work. This moment will be frozen in time. Not now. Oh, mine took a man. I must say, I am so concerned with this. No, my sword! The night is cold. Who's down there? Oh, hello. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I have like a minute left. Huh? This abyss base dropped a talisman. <gasps> Could it be a communication of some kind? Hmm. This talisman seems connected to the Abyss Herald. But why would an Abyss Mage be carrying it? Well, it's probably so you can talk to the Abyss Herald, obviously, Dane. Perhaps it really does contain information about their operation. Or it could be that. I like my idea better, though. But... Vyman can't read the writing on it! Oh, is that the script of Conria? Engulf the faith of an enemy in flame, and bring glory to Her Highness the Princess. Mm. What? Is that what it says? 
Loom of Fate initial operation. They, the Abyss, seem to be carrying out a large operation. The key word here is Loom of Fate. Prophecy? It seems like they are still launching the operation, or rather, are still conducting preliminary tests. Hmm? Loom of Fate? What's that? Is it literally a fate weaving machine? Does it relate to the inverted statue? From the horrible feeling Paimon's been getting, those eerie ruins are super likely to be related to this fate weaving operation. So, Dane, what message does this talisman contain? I'm reading it now. Hmm. An ambitious operation. But some parts are difficult to understand. How so? In short, the first phase of the plan is related to Osile, overlord of the Vortex. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> no. The overlord <laughs> of the Vortex? You mean that god in the ocean? It was just... We weren't able to destroy it last time. Well, what do they want with Osile? Uh... Could it be the same as with Dvalin? I know of your past heroics regarding Dvalin. And I also know of the Abyss Order's role in the Storm Terror incident. Though you may not have been aware of it at the time, you were thwarting an Abyss Order operation similar to this one. No, but honestly, I, I'm not. I'm not fighting a water serpent again. Am I? Please, 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 please. Oh, please say I don't have to fight a water serpent again. <laughs> I will be so pissed. Last time it was Venti's old friend. This time it's a huge ancient god. The Abyss Order keeps setting their sights higher and higher. Will the Abyss Order use their lies and dark magic to corrupt Osile, just as they did to Valen? No. From the contents of the Talisman, this operation goes one step further. Oh? They won't just corrupt Osile's mind. They also plan to use the ancient technology behind the Field Tillers to completely transform Osile's body. That, 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 that sounds extremely bad for us. Is that even possible? Oh my god, stop getting notifications. So wait, the Abyss Order wants to make some sort of cybernetic squid god of mass destruction? <sighs> sounds about right. Very few people today truly understand the civilization of Kanria. Though of course, the accuracy of that understanding itself is difficult to judge. Mm. Only the Abyss Order has consistently sought out the remnants of Kanria. Despite being far from human, they seek out this lost human civilization quite persistently. The Talisman's message states that they will use the defiled statue as a base, attaching Osile's limbs to construct a mechanized god. Okay, that visual in itself is actually terrifying. That that's actually terrifying. I and just the got new chills. core that shall replace the orb usually held by the statue of the seven is the eye of the very first field tiller. Oh my god. The eye of the very first field tiller? <sighs> Oh, Paimon gets it! All those Abyss Mages are looking for the special eye, right? It would seem so. They haven't found it yet. We still have time. This whole thing keeps getting more complicated. But basically, it all has to do with that eerie statue of the Seven we saw, right? Yes. According to the talisman, the eye should be placed in the hands of the defiled statue, thereby imbuing the newly born god with the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Celestia. Oh boy, the Abyss Order sure isn't holding back with this plan. Hmm. Since no one knows where the first field tiller is, 
How about we take the information about the statue as the starting point for our investigation? That statue. It looked like the animal archon. Yeah! That tone-deaf bard is too difficult to track down anyway. Let's go to the cathedral first and ask around. Maybe we'll learn something. The cathedral. Hmm. Huh? What's the matter, Dane? Nothing. Let's get moving. I think he's a bit irked that there is a place that worships the gods. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh my god, that gave me chills. Like, so much chills. Oh my lord. Ah, I just got chills in my back. Dabba dee, dabba doo, dabba dee, dabba doo. Anyways, that's it. <laughs> Genshin is turning into a horror game <laughs> at the moment. Fuck. The oh fucking imagery. Oh my gosh. Wow. Huh? All will be revealed in the next volume? Oh, drat. My feels exactly, bruh. Yeah. 